Hey guys, Nick here, the one on Nick's Games. Today, I'm teaching you guys how you can get files off of a 24 hour Minecraft server. So, you've got an awesome map on your server, you want to get it off, play it locally, or upload it for your server members to uh, download. How can you do that? Well, it's very, very simple. First off, we need to download FileZilla right here at FileZilla-Project.org or the first link down below. We'll take you out to this page where you then will want to click Download FileZilla Client and then you will want to download now on SourceForge. It will take you out to SourceForge and it will instantly download it. If it doesn't, click right there. Nevertheless, once you've done that, you want to go through and install it just like any other program, but I've already got it installed, so uh, I'm not going to do that here. Just like any other program, did you install Skype, did you install Google Chrome, any of those programs, it's exactly like that, just follow through the process. Nevertheless, once you've got FileZilla installed, it's time to log into Multicraft. To do that, you want to go to the Multicraft of your server host. In my case, it's Apex Minecraft Hosting. That's why I use. I love Apex completely and thoroughly. And uh, for them, that's ApexMinecraftHosting.com slash Multicraft. Go there. It will take you to something that looks about like this, where you then want to click on the server that uh, you want to edit. In my case, that's going to be YouTube server. So we're going to go in here and stop this to get the map. First off, however, we need to uh, to prove that the map is here and is uh, installed locally, which we will be doing. So let's go ahead, open up Minecraft real quick, and I will show you guys this world, right? I'll show you guys this world, I'll stop the server, download the world, show you guys how to do that, and uh, and then we'll be good to go. Now this is going to uh, to work with every single, right, this is going to work with every single Thing on your server. You want to download the mods off your server, you can do that. The player data, you can do that. Anything on your server can be downloaded this way. So if we go into multiplayer and direct connect to that IP address, it will then log in here and we will be able to see. Okay, so here is it, right? Now we should be able to game mode one real quick. Oh, we don't have permission to do that, but let's go ahead and uh, put something that will kind of show us that this is the same. So right here, just this random dirt pillar. Awesome, that'll work. So now we can disconnect and uh, quit Minecraft. So now we need to stop this server. To do that, simply come up here and click stop right there in Multicraft. It will slow things down and stop the server. Once it does that, we need to go over here to FTP file access. There we go, server is stopped, so we can go over here to FTP file access and copy and paste all of this information into FileZilla. How do we open up FileZilla? After you've installed it, you can simply go up here to the Windows button or hit the Windows key on your keyboard and type FileZilla, right like that, F-I-L-E-Z-I-L-L-A and hit enter. It will open up and look exactly like this. Over here is your local downloads, your desktop in my case. For you, it might be uh, something that looks a lot like this. If it does, simply click on C and then go into users and then click on whatever your name is or whatever your name is right up here, right? Whatever that is. Double click on that and then click on desktops and boom, you're on your desktop. Now, let's go ahead and connect to the server. To do that, we simply want to copy everything that's over here. For example, host into host, username into username. Password, that's your Multicraft password, right? What did you use to log in to Multicraft? That's what that is. Port 21, and then I will enter my password simply with Quick Connect because it's uh, a lot easier. So there we go. We are now logged in to this server. So if we want to get the world, all we're going to do is simply take that and drag it over here to the desktop, right down here in the white space. It's now going to go through, download everything, and transfer everything that's on the server over to my local hard drive. So we can now minimize this, and boom, right here it is, world, right? If we open it up, it'll have right there, data, all that stuff. We open it up over here, world, boom, data. Everything mirrors, exactly. Even down to the file sizes and everything, it'll be exactly the same. The reason? Because what's over here is over here. For example, 623, 623 bytes. Pretty simple. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and uh, install this locally just to show you guys it's working. And guess what? You just transferred stuff off your server. If you wanted to transfer the properties, for example, right here they are. You would click that and drag that over, and boom, there are the server properties. 
it's that simple to uh, to get stuff off and if you wanted to upload stuff again by the way so for example these server properties if we wanted to upload this to the server all we would do is come over here in this click this and drag it over we want to overwrite it in this case and boom now that file right here is over here if we wanted to name it server properties new right which this wouldn't work right this wouldn't work as your server properties there it is server properties new very very simple very very easy to do and uh, yeah so let's go ahead and prove that this is actually the world we were just playing in multiplayer so we're install it real quick locally to do that percent app data percent go into dot minecraft here and then you will simply just drag this world into saves but I'm gonna name it multiplayer world just for a test sure it's misspelled I don't even care so there's that now I'll open up Minecraft and it will load up that world and I'll prove it's the same world that was in multiplayer. I'm also going to go over here and restart this server just so I can switch back and forth real quick just to prove it to you guys that it is up and running. So that will now start and we can minimize this and play this. Awesome just like this all right it's gonna open up bada bing bada boom and we will be able to play this it's very very easy to do this guys and as you can see right here it is multiplayer world and we can rename that to multiplayer and double click on it and it will be exactly how we left it off in uh in the online version right exactly the same so it's gonna take it a second to download terrain and there it is boom right there is our dirt pillar we can now save and quit to title multiplayer and direct connect to that server and look at that there it is so there you guys have it that's how you can download stuff anything you want off of your multiplayer world and uh, put it in single player or work on it offline and things like that for example the server properties again if I was to take and download those right they can download the server properties we can then edit them in notepad plus plus and if we wanted to for example change the difficulty the spawn protection or if we wanted to change the default game mode all of that can be done right here in the server properties and uh, yeah there you guys have it hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I make awesome minecraft tutorials every single day of the week you won't be disappointed I'm Nick's games and I'm out guys Peace. And there's some videos you guys probably want to go check out. Down that way we have Modtastic Episode 22. That's my modded Minecraft Let's Play series where I uh, play modded Minecraft and have some fun. This is the FTB Unleashed Mod Pack. It's a great series. Go check it out. And down the other way we have install mods in Minecraft 1.8 on a 24 hour server. Do you want to get mods in your 24 hour server? You know how to download stuff from it. What about putting mods on it? That video shows you exactly how to do that. Anyway guys, I hope you you enjoyed this video if you did please give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i'm nix games and i'm out guys peace